Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be talking about five things that surprised me when moving to the Netherlands. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janneke. I am an expat from Finland. I have been living in the Netherlands now for about two and a half years. I live in the beautiful city of Leiden together with my Dutch boyfriend. So without a further ado, let's get into it. When moving here, one of the first things we needed to do was, of course, find an apartment. What really, really surprised me was that there was a lot of apartments that they were renting out without floors. I found this extremely weird, but the thing is that in the Netherlands there is a population of over 18 million people. If you've ever looked at Netherlands on the map, it's not a very big country. The housing market here can get quite crazy and finding an apartment is not always the easiest. As a result, the housing market here in the Netherlands is quite crazy and it is not abnormal that apartments are being rented out without almost any kitchen appliances. Luckily, we were able to find an apartment that did have them and also to rent out apartments without floors. And I don't mean that when you walk into an apartment without a floor, that it's just a hollow hole in the ground that you fall through. No, it's more like a concrete floor, like what you would find if you would basically tear up someone's floor, what's, you know, underneath there. It's not something you really want to or can live with. It feels uncomfortable, it looks really ugly. Unless, I don't know, you really don't care and are planning to wear shoes inside every day, 24 seven, then maybe I guess you could live like that. But the point of them is that you're supposed to buy and install your own floor, which can get quite expensive. Personally, I would never do that for a rental apartment. If I would buy a house, then it's a whole different story, of course. But just for living somewhere for a few years and having to buy your own floor sounds a bit weird. So if you're planning on moving to the Netherlands when looking for apartments, try and check that they have a floor. And if they don't, be prepared for some extra costs. And what I think is really funny about this is, in my mind, what would make the most sense is once you have bought your floor for your apartment and you're about to move to the next apartment, what I would personally do and what you would think most people do, and I'm sure some do, is that you would sell it to the next renter. But no, it is quite common here to then pay for someone to come and uninstall a floor and bring it with you to the next apartment. <laughs> planning to move to the Netherlands or to visit or if you just happen to run into some Dutch people around the world something to keep in mind is that the Dutch people are very honest and upfront they definitely don't sugarcoat things both in good and bad hi hi by the way I just bought this new shirt I love it so much isn't it cute oh that shirt mm, to be honest I don't really like it Really? So, if you ever need an honest opinion about something, ask the Dutch. As you probably know, the Netherlands is full of bicycles and biking is probably the most popular form of transportation here. Actually, it is recorded that there is 22.9 million bikes in this country and I think it's pretty impossible to do a trip to the Netherlands without seeing all the bicycles and people biking around as it is so popular here. But what surprised me and terrified my mother is that people bike here without helmets and for someone who has grown up in Finland I remember that one of the most important things that we were taught as children was that we always, always need to wear a helmet when biking. My boyfriend told me that the reason why people don't wear helmets here is because the Dutch are so good at biking that they don't need to wear helmets. And I believe that children in school here have to actually learn how to ride a bike and they have a bit of like a driver's test, but for biking instead. But to be honest, in a country with so many people and so many bikers, there is bound to be some accidents. I have seen quite a few myself, no matter how good of a biker you are. So I don't really see the reason why people are not wearing helmets. And when I bought my own bike, 
they didn't even sell helmets in the shops and I pretty rarely seen them. The only people I've seen wearing helmets are people that are like speed biking, like doing it for a sport and going super fast, but not even always then. First, I really wanted to buy myself a helmet, but I was told that I will look very silly and out of place and I will pretty much be the only one wearing a helmet and that I really shouldn't do that and I should embrace the Dutch way and going without a helmet, so that is what I did. I'm sorry, mom! Did you know that almost a third of the Netherlands is below sea level? But because the Dutch are so good at water engineering, the, yeah, the country should be mostly underwater, but it isn't. And the Netherlands have actually managed to regain more land than lose it, which is quite impressive. But something that really surprised me is that you can really see the fact that we are basically below sea level. Usually gravel roads in most countries are made out of tiny rocks but here they are made out of tiny seashells instead. In fact, you can find seashells here almost everywhere, even in the middle of big cities. Also, if you start digging the ground, you most likely won't come across a lot of dirt or rocks. It's sand. So there's a lot of sand here everywhere. And there's also a lot of beautiful national parks here and nature areas with sand dunes, which I didn't know about before coming here, which is something that really surprised me when moving here. Last but not least, I have been pleasantly surprised with how much there is to see and do in this country. For a lot of people, when you think about the Netherlands, you mainly think about Amsterdam. And maybe for some people you also think about the tulips. But to see Amsterdam and the tulips are pretty much, I would say, the main things and most famous things that people come to do here. But in reality, there is really so much more to see and do. So if you are planning a trip here to the Netherlands, and what I always tell my friends and family visiting is to not only come to Amsterdam, but to also explore all the other cities here in the Netherlands that are beautiful. And not just the cities, there are also beautiful nature areas here and national parks like, for example, Veluwe National Park and Bischbosch National Park. There are also big, sandy, beautiful beaches that are perfect to visit during the summertime. And yeah, there's so much to see and do here. So if you are planning a trip here, try and broaden your horizons. So the next time you visit the Netherlands, I would highly recommend also seeing and doing something else than just Amsterdam. And because the Netherlands is such a small country with a great infrastructure and public transport, it is really easy to travel around here. You can just basically jump on a train, bus or tram and go almost anywhere, even if you don't have a car. So that is definitely not something you need to worry about when coming here. So yeah, if you come here, like I already said, try and see also something else than just Amsterdam. Also Amsterdam, of course, is a really beautiful city, but there is also so much more than that. So those were my five things that have surprised me about Netherlands. Please, if you have anything that has surprised you, if you visited or if you're an expat like me who has moved here, or maybe even as a local, something that has really surprised you with this country, let me know down in the comments. And do you have any personal opinions or experiences about what I just spoke? Do you, for example, think that you should wear a helmet when biking or am I just being a wuss about it? <laughs> Which might very well be the case. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my life here in the Netherlands and me exploring this country and also other countries around the world, then please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.